Hi again, friends. Let's go explore the backyard. This is not my backyard. It's a friend of mine. But we're here because they have a nice patch of woods. And so what we're gonna do is try to figure out what types of creatures like to explore this patch of woods at nighttime. I put some bait out here the last few nights and a camera, and I know that this particular creature has been here. And so last night I put a trap out, and so I'm hoping that we caught something. So let's go check it out. Take a look at what we caught. It's a possum. This is the Virginia opossum. Now, most people call them just a possum, but um, just so you know, there is another animal in the world that is called a possum, and it lives in Australia. Now, possums are great to have in your yard for several reasons. One is that they will eat all kinds of different food, and they will eat some pests that you probably don't want around. They will eat bugs like cockroaches, they will eat rats and mice, and they will eat all kinds of snakes. They're actually immune to snake venom. And so they're not worried about any kind of snake at all. Another good reason to have them around is they can eat up to 5,000 ticks in one season. So they're actually, even though they, they kind of look ugly and maybe um, because they root around in your garbage, you might not think they're very clean animals, but they actually do a good job of grooming themselves. And so that's why they find all these ticks on their bodies and they will just eat them. The possum can live up to two years in the wild. When it's time for them to have babies, they'll have up to eight babies. And they are, this is the only North American marsupial, meaning that they have a pouch to keep their babies in. And so once the babies are born, they're about the size of a honeybee. And those little tiny babies will find their way through the, uh, through the fur into the pouch. And there they will stay drinking milk for the next up to two months. And once they're big enough, they will come out of the pouch. And then in another month, they will climb and hitch a ride on their mother. Another interesting thing about the possum is that you really don't have to be worried about them having rabies. A marsupial has a lower body temperature, which makes them not a great place for the rabies virus to live. And so it's very rare for a possum to be carrying rabies. So that's really great. The other interesting thing about a possum, you can take a look at its tail there. It's, a, it's got a scaly tail. And this tail is used to grab onto things. It can help it climb, and they can actually hang from trees. A possum is probably most known for playing dead. Some people say playing possum. And it is an involuntary defensive mechanism in their body. So if they get super scared and stressed out, they will just kind of faint and act like they're dead. And it's very convincing because they will, um, their mouth will hang open and their tongue will, will be out and they'll kind of be drooling. And um, they emit like a really stinky smell, like it's a rotting body. And so it's very convincing to predators and they'll just kind of lose interest in this really stinky dead animal and they may just walk away. And then maybe minutes or hours later, the possum will come back to life and then just walk away. So that's pretty cool. Oh, hey there. <laughs> I'm gonna take Mrs. Possum out of the cage. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let's call her uh, Penelope. All right, buddy, or lady. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take her over here in the middle. One thing I didn't mention about the possum is that it has the most teeth of any mammal. It's got 50 teeth. So I'm really hoping those 50 te teeth don't chomp down on my hand, but we'll see. You're right. All right. You see how he's grabbing on with his hands there? And if you take a look at his back paws, 
He's got a thumb, or she, she's got a thumb that can grab onto things just like we can. So they're great climbers. I'm really glad that I could show you that possum today. You know how I was telling you about it having an involuntary reaction to a stressful situation by playing dead? Well, what that means is that it doesn't really have a choice. If it gets super stressed out, it's just gonna play dead. But when you think about it, we're not like that at all because we always have a choice about how we are going to react to what's around us. And it's because God created us to be free. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 3.17 that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So you see, we always have our own freedom to choose. Today we're talking about the last of the fruits of the Spirit, which is self-control. And self-control is all about making choices, except making the right choice. And it really helps us to have all of the other fruits of the Spirit in our life. Because if we are going to have love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and all the other fruits of the Spirit in our life, then we're going to have to make lots of choices to do that each day. So I encourage you to ask God to help you to have self-control and to make the right choices. All right, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.